What is up everybody? So today we're taking delivery of a C6 Corvette that I've been in the market for for a while. And here she is. She finally showed up today, so we're gonna take a look at it. And as you guys may have saw, little teaser, we got a 65 Mustang that we're gonna be introducing to the channel. And we are gonna to continue to do 4Runner mods. So stay tuned for more, but today we're gonna to show you guys the brand new 2011 C6 Corvette. So this is my new 2011 Grand Sport. Uh, it has 32,000 miles and she is pretty much bone stock other than a couple of aesthetic mods that you guys can probably already pick out already but uh, I'm just absolutely over the moon wasn't planning to buy one of these but got a killer deal so I took it and I think she's just awesome it's gonna be a good addition to the channel so starting from the front let's look at a couple of the mods that the guy did do he did a carbon fiber front splitter this is actually real carbon fiber I think it looks really good and then from the front it has these two little inlet grills or uh, air vents right there that I think look really nice. He did debadge the front Corvette logo which I always liked kind of emphasize those body lines. He also did LED uh, side marker lights. Those look really good at night. And then one of the best parts I think about the Grand Sport package is of course the wide body kit front and rear I think it looks awesome but these brakes so these are six piston brakes uh, in the front, four pistons in the back, and they are just absolutely ridiculous. And then this is a carbon fiber front quarter panel. So a lot of people with these Grand Sports, and I, I don't really like the factory grills. They kind of go up and down in these lines, and a lot of people swap them to the ZR1. So this is a ZR1 front quarter panel, and he got the carbon fiber ones because you can still see a little bit of the weave through the paint. I don't know if that picks up in there, but it's pretty cool. Uh, the one thing I don't like is he color matched the vents to the calipers. And to me, I don't know, they just pop a little bit too much. So I'm probably going to be swapping that back to factory black. So there's the rear brakes. I think they look awesome. I'm a little iffy on these tires or uh, wheels, I should say. I'm kind of a fan of the C7 cup wheels. Let me know if you guys agree. Kind of going for the Batmobile look. There's the LED side markers as well. Now, he did add this carbon fiber duck spoiler. I think that's what they're called. I was a little iffy on it when I saw it online. But once I got in person, I, I do think it just really looks good from the rear. Kind of adds to the body lines and some of the dimension of the car. So, let me know what you guys think. And then in the back... This is kind of a necessity. Uh, it has the factory NPP exhaust. So it's valves, so I can either make it louder or quieter. And right now he has pulled the fuse, or I say he, I guess the previous owner, uh, to make it just kind of loud all the time. So it sounds really, really good at startup. I'll put a couple clips here. You guys can hear what it sounds like. All right, now looking in the back, one of the things I do like about Corvettes is honestly, between the gas mileage and how much storage they have back here, they're fairly practical. So there's the clips for the Grand Sport Targa Top. That's one of the reasons I like this over the Z06. So I'm not so much a speed person, rather kind of like enjoying the ride. So the Targa Top will be really nice. All right, so on the interior, it's pretty much bone stock. And it's really, really nice. I do like these C6s compared to the C5s, uh, but honestly, these do not compare to the C7. So they get a bunch of slack, but I come from a C5, so this is really nice. So once you get in it, you can see uh, it does have two mods. It has a short throw shifter. This is the MGW. The throws are super short and really notchy. And then it does have this weird gauge overlay right there. So uh, it's really hard to see uh, during the day. So I'm probably going to take that off. So we'll do a quick start up on it. All right, so this was the best part. This was really what I wanted when I got a, an LS3 Corvette. I wanted the LS3 unmodified, 
So it doesn't even have an intake, doesn't have headers, it's completely bone stock. So you don't see this very often, uh, especially from Corvette owners, they like to modify them pretty quickly. So so we may modify it, uh, I just, just kind of like it being a blank slate how it is. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys want to recommend any mods, if you want to see anything in specific, again, we're still going to be introducing the 65 Mustang to the channel, and I'm going to continue to mod the 4Runner. I actually have a handful of videos for that. So, welcome to the family. Hopefully you guys enjoy. We'll get some videos pumping out on it.